2018 Volkswagen Atlas. We have a no starty, no worky worky condition. Yay. Typically before the battery dies you have other things start to give you indications of a bat dying battery in this vehicle uh, such as from a cold start. The transmission will give you a warning saying it's in emergency mode because the uh, 12 volt voltage is uh, dropping. Um, you know, cold crank amps go up, voltage drops. You people with your calculators and your ohms all stuck in your head, you can do the maths and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna get this car jump start and get the battery replaced. But typical Volkswagen fashion, uh, even though you can just swap the battery and drive off, that's not what you should do. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take note of the old battery BIM code, etc. Because I got a feeling that's gonna come into play after we swap out for. Uh, aftermarket battery we now find ourselves after a jump start on the way to advanced auto parts to get a battery yeah this AC is nice my AC hasn't worked in my car for a good handful of years I want to remind my wife of how nice this AC is in this car. All right, let's go get a battery. You never always need a different Ian. Yeah. So I've got uh, Ian with me uh, from AutoZone. He's swapping out the battery. Uh, just something to note. Uh, you have to undo that bolt there and then the old battery slides out. New battery gets put in. But anyways, props to Ian over at AutoZone. Anybody out this way, make sure you, you come and talk to him. All right, go Ian swapped out the battery for me. We got several codes. I can go through the menu vehicle. We're gonna clear out what messages we can clear out. Tire pressure monitoring area. I think most of these will should clear out on their own. Should be able to set some of these things, but. See what this does. I probably had no business. Shoo, flies. Uh, messing with that the center console. Most of the warning lights cleared as soon as I went for a drive, but we got to do a bit of coding. Got my Ross Tech cable plugged in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to run through with VCDS and this. That cable is just a typical auto scan, any codes, let it run its course, and then uh, reset any codes that uh, pop up. Fairly simple. But then afterwards, we have to do an adaptation of the replacement battery. So here's the thing is, you know, with vehicles, there's an aftermarket parts, etc. There's a lot of lobbying back in the day. Uh, so you can go and get parts for a vehicle. There's no quote unquote right for repair, etc. Uh, issue. 
However, in the Volkswagen ecosystem, you now, when it comes to battery replacements, have to have a battery uh, with a BIM code. In order to do an adaptation for that new battery, and what the adaptation does is it uh, tells the controller uh, that this is a new battery. You don't have to charge it as much or as frequently as the old battery. It adjusts your charge, current, voltage, blah, blah, blah. Which if you don't do, the car will operate fine. But you, the potential is you're going to decrease the lifespan of your current new battery because of inappropriate charging which is kind of like planned obsolescence or forcing you into a specific uh, path to, to um, actually have something that is usable and for, for long, um, prolonged use or longevity. Um, to me, it's borderline criminal. But that, that is uh, what's currently in place. Ah. Anyways, I'll be back once this thing's done running. Maybe not planned obsolescence, but at least forced obsolescence. Because if you're basically saying, hey, our vehicle's going to make your battery die quicker, quicker because of our battery management unless you buy the battery that we want you to buy then that is at least uh, to in order and also to do the coating then that's at least forced obsolescence um, it looks like all these things have a uh, possible data blah blah just happened to do with a battery that uh, it's on the verge of dying so going to erase these DTCs let it run and then get into the adaptation but hey you can work your way around all these things if you've got a VACOM cable you know 300 plus dollars and a little bit of know-how using the program like VCDS so, um, yeah, there's that. All right. From here, I'm going to, uh, into my select control module, 19 can gateway. And this will probably take a second to load. Retrieving slaves. What an incredibly weird indication. Protocol UDS, uh, not all vehicles are going to be UDS. So I'm pretty sure there's other videos. Uh, since we're UDS, adaptation 10. And then I am looking for some specific lines code that we have to pull up some strings of data and here we go id e 0325 6 3256 3256 3256 so let's go in that first one and let's see Just verifying with the information on top of the battery. Yes, this is a 70 amp hour battery. So we should be good for here. Uh, let's go down to the one below it. Battery adaptation technology. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the door last uh, platinum batteries, whatever. They're EFB, not EFB plus. So we're gonna uh, change it. Do it. Replace. Sweet. Uh, if you don't know, I think you're safe to put as a 
unknown, but you can search those things online. Oh, I meant to change to a different drop down menu. All right. Let's uh, find the data we need again. All right, manufacturer. Manufacturer is going to be a three digit code. I'm going to see what it will accept. Uh, I think part of the part number is uh, DFG or something. Part of the end code is LN3. Let's see if it will let me do that. LN3. What happens when I click do it? Yes. All right, cool. And then battery serial number. Stored value is just a bunch of ones, interesting. How many digits we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay. I can put in 10 digits for the new serial number. That's pretty easy. As a matter of fact, the serial number on the new battery is uh, 10 digits long. Do it. Hey. All right, that should be everything. If I'm not mistaken. Do we have any fault codes? Nope, they've all been cleared. Yay. And hopefully this thing charges the way it should and no issues into the future. I'll stop the car. All right, open the door, everything shuts off. Back in, foot on brake. Car starts right back up. Well, if, uh, minus all my snarky attitude about, um, the Volkswagen ecosystem here, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, uh, and stay tuned for more videos like this as well as other videos. You know, hopefully this has been helpful for somebody who needs a battery for their VW has a 2018 model. Uh, Atlas is not looking to pay an arm and a leg going to a dealership uh, who is looking to get something uh, from AutoZone again thanks to Ian uh, who spells his name rather uniquely which we do with our kid too so a very interesting guy quite a bit of help I hate replacing batteries by myself it was great to have an extra set of hands um, anyways that that guy that guy is awesome uh, but um, you know Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, that was all for now. Take care. Goodbye. Mark?